Morning, everybody. I'm Alex uh, here at the Festival of Enterprise once again. This is our business support service for SMEs, business owners, entrepreneurs who are out there at the moment. I'm joined today by Matt Haycox. You might have seen Matt hey guys. on the TV screens uh, over the course of the last week. Um, Rich H. Porres, was that Channel 4 or Channel 5, Matt? I was trying to remember. Channel, Channel 5, Sunday nights, 9 p.m. I've, I've, right. I've, I've, I've learned I've learned the pattern how to say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so watched you on that, and then this week I've seen you again. I think it was two days ago now. Um, as the Suns, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, small business advisor uh, giving out advice to to businesses across the world, I guess, with some with the reach that the Sun would have. Yeah, we we did it. Well, well, this week was the first time it's kind of come out and been announced. Uh, we we did a, a twenty minute video um, which has gone on YouTube, which was a bit more generic. You know, we talked talked about uh, about some of the things that were available to small businesses. Uh, you know, in terms of the business uh, loan interruption scheme, uh, you know, the, the employer retention scheme, and some of the more generic things. I guess just to int introduce me to the audience. But for, but from this week onwards, uh, we, we are answering answering the specific um, questions of of readers. So I'm like a, a professional dear Deirdre. <laughs> do they still have a dear Deirdre? I remember that. <laughs> no, I don't know. I, I, I do remember her from back in the day. I do, yeah, I do, I do hope, people, hope people email to ask about the cash flow and not, or not the rashes. <laughs> <laughs> so people want to know, you know, I mean, this, these are, you know, crazy times that we're, we're obviously living in at the moment and people are trying to make best of a bad situation. Some businesses are, I've been speaking to been you know doing up to three of these a day, and I know you've been doing lots of lives on your Instagram channel as well, which is at the real Matt Haycox, I think. Am I right? Uh, at the Matt Haycox, at just the A P M A T T H A Y C O X. Yeah, I've been I've been doing uh, I mean I've been doing a live every night on Instagram at nine o'clock, uh, which has been a combination of me speaking and I mean it, it started it started off me giving let's say uh, a pricey on my day, talk, talking about some you know some general business advice some general you know, corona related strategies and then obviously as the days have gone on because i think as of today i think we're, we're four weeks into lockdown today aren't we so we're like 30 days in i think i've done literally 30 of these 31 of these back to back wow. uh, and and it started off like i say with me talking uh, and then you know the, the audience has grown a bit each day uh, and you, we've had people bring their generic questions you know we've had people 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 bring their specific questions um and i've i've, al I've also doubled up you know uh, br bringing some people onto the lives you know, you know like like we're doing this which has been great to give me reach to extra audience but what's um, i guess it's been you know really unexpected but satisfying for me insofar as you know the, the number of people who've come on who've probably come on demotivated or scared or you know, or in, in in a problem and have you know i've taken away the positives i've said and either started a business or or or, or adapted a business model and you know I'm not. I'm talking. I'm talking about you know like very small businesses here. You know, one man bands on, on, on entrepreneurs, but the but the but the same logic applies. You know, wh wh whether whether you're a small business, whether you're a big business. But if if anything, you've probably got you've probably got more opportunity as a as a small one man band on entrepreneur because you you've got the ability to pivot better, yeah. uh, or or, or you yeah. know or certainly make decisions quicker. I mean, I mean, yes, you know, you you may have less cash around the, the, than the big companies, but you know, but but the big companies. I've got uh, I've got a much higher burn rate and and, and, a, and a much uh, poorer in, poorer ability you know to, to actually be able to make these changes. But you know I mean I've yeah. I've had people on there who have been let's say a photographer. You know one of the exam my go to examples is always a photographer who has always been an event and wedding photographer. Mm. Um, you know, absolutely uh, unable to, to to deliver her service to, to customers in any way, shape, or form, and and looking at a completely blank calendar and zero income. And and what I've really been trying to hammer across to everybody is, you know, is the the situation needs accepting. You know, we 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 don't you know we don't moan about it. I mean, I don't look at any any news whatsoever. You know, I don't look at any news. I, I don't join in any WhatsApp groups, any Facebook groups, etc. Because you know, it, 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 at best case, we're listening to information from people who aren't qualified to give it. And okay, you know, and the very best case, it might be an educated supposition. 
Mm -hmm. the, the reality is it's, it's probably garbage. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and more important than that, you know, talk, talking about any, any of these things is not going to fix the situation. So, so, you know, so, so I've very, I've very much been working on a, on a kind of a one to one to three week plan of, of, of accepting the fact that, look, you know, lockdown is here. We can't go out. There's no point me theorizing about, about when we are going to be allowed out. I can tell you, we are going to be allowed out. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know if it's one month, three months, or six months. I don't think it's going to be three years. Uh, yeah. But you know, um, but until that point, all all I want to do is is make changes to my business to to try and be able to trade online or or deliver our product, you know, through a different method of distribution as best as possible. And if that isn't possible. Then, then I want to be working on marketing, uh, and, and, you know, and, and for me, they're, they're the two things. You know, what can we do to our business model to um, to deliver things differently? If the if the honest answer is nothing, because I think you know people's immediate reaction immediate reaction is it's nothing. But you know, what changes can we make? And if we go back to that photographer's example, your immediate mm -hmm. reaction is well, how can a photographer possibly deliver her service when she goes and takes takes photographs at weddings and, mm -hmm. uh, and corporate events? Well, she can't, but but she's got a skill set. She's got an audience, and what she what she's now doing is offering online photography lessons uh, and 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 an online video ed uh, online photo editing service. You know, we, we've all got we've all got that favourite photo of, of of the kid or you know or with the missus from a few years ago that that could do with a touch up or could or could do with being funked up a bit. Yeah. Um, okay. Is it what she wants to do long term? Is it earning her as much money uh, as what as what as what she was doing before? No, it's not. Uh, and 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 will it? But will it be a permanent business model for her to run alongside? I don't know. But what it's certainly doing in the meantime is putting food on the table. Uh, is, is is keeping her name out there. Is keeping her brand out there. You know, potentially being some lead gen for the future as well. But it's you know it's obviously a much more positive solution than uh, than 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 stand at home moaning about it and i use words like moaning because i guess like yeah, they just slip into my into my day-to-day -day speech and i'm not trying to i'm not trying to play this down and i'm not i'm not trying to be blase about it because you know, let's say i've been more successful than, you know, than, than somebody and therefore i i can be immune to this i'm no more immune to it than anyone else you know i mean I, i've got investments in all kinds of different sectors uh quite heavily in the leisure sector you know i'm, I'm in bars I'm in restaurants. I've got, I've, I've got, a, I've got a hotel. We are completely closed down. You know, th th there's, there's, there's no pivoting on those, on those business models. You know, so I'm suffering the same problems everyone else is suffering of furloughing staff, of, you know, of, of, cut, of cutting costs where we can. Um, mm. But uh, you know, the, it, it, there is, there is no, there is no um, other solution other than to find a solution. Yeah, absolutely. I'm 100% I'm with you. I don't look at the news and I think, again, social media, unless you're doing what you're doing and what I'm doing in our like, separate separate groups on, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff, is it's just reinforcing that, that negative messaging that people are putting out there. And also a lot of so-called experts who aren't actually experts, like you say, talking probably utter gibberish. Um, so, well, well, you know, I mean, sorry to labour the point on that, but you know, I mean, the thing is, even if you say, well, well, the only place I'm going to take my information from is news channels. But I guarantee you, if you picked up the Sun, the Daily Mail, and the Financial Times, you're going to get three three very different opinions on on uh, you know on when lockdown's going to end, or or what's going on with this death toll, or what's going on with that death toll. Because you know, like everyone runs their own agendas. Everybody gets their, everybody gets their own information for, own information from various places. Uh, and you know, ultimately, you know, n n none none of us can get anything with anything with a, with a hundred percent fact. So you know, so 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 we need to use our own common sense and, and and basically you know deal with the today yeah no i agree with you they're all they're all, owned, all owned by individuals who've got their own agendas as well um so quick uh say hello to everyone who's joining us today is posted up so we've got rossi we've got al hassan in birmingham um, we've got shirley in derbyshire louise in norfolk and derbyshire we've got laura and natasha in lincolnshire laura in scotland graham in london we've got loads of people here jazz there's a lot of people in sunny places <laughs> <laughs> Um, is, is anybody in rain? Is anybody anywhere rainy? I mean, I, I'm looking outside my window. I'm in, I'm in sunny, sunny Leeds as well. But, um, but I, I was going to say I don't don't want to take over your um, I don't want to take over your agenda. But I'm just I'm obviously looking at some of the comments in here and you know and uh, just looking at Alex, Alexandra. Uh, I mean, for, for anyone who can't see, Alexandra saying, "How would you target the over fifties 
uh, modern and active over 50s at the moment as we're trying to organize virtual events, but it's slow and everyone wants it for free. Uh, mm -hmm. We normally organize in-person social events. Any ideas on the messaging strategy without honing in on the age? Um, I just saw that, and, and it, it just it just uh, tick, tick, ticks a few box, boxes for me you know, that, that either fit in with my personal strategies or or um, things that I've been personally involved in. So, Alex, just, I'll call you Alex. I apologise, but uh, just to put this into context, uh, I, I I actually have an events business as well, uh, and we we have. Um, we normally deliver monthly networking events uh, for for, you know, for for quite a high caliber audience. Uh, so you know we don't have thousands and thousands of members. You know we've we've got hundred odd members in Manchester, uh, sixty or seventy members in Leeds, and we tend to put we tend to put on an event once a month. Um, again, a nice event in a nice venue. Get everyone together around 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 a guest speaker. Um, we all, we also do an annual tennis event, which is which is a three day event where we get the the, the kind of legend, legends of tennis. Uh, you know, your Henri Leconte, your Ivan Isovitches, and you know, they 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 gather around exhibition tennis. We sell it to a high net worth audience, and everybody everybody drinks a lot of champagne. So I'm I'm suffering some of the same issues that you are there in that we we are we're not able to able to deliver our events. Um, but what we what we started off doing is effectively taking our monthly events on to onto a zoom zoom call like this so whoever was going to be our guest speaker would would, would come and be a guest speaker like this we've been doing this for about four weeks now um and the, and a you know, forgive me rambling on the story because again i want to put it into context and and, and, to, and really talk about how what starts off as a potential solution to a problem could mm. be a whole new business model now so now now we were never expecting to actually do any new business during this you know really we just wanted to service our existing customers because you know people pay an annual fee they pay a monthly fee to be in this club uh, and ultimately you know we're, we're not able to deliver uh, what you know what, what we what we promised them we we either can't or don't want to give them the money back um and um you know, and, and, and we, you know we need to do something to keep the wheels moving so we moved the monthly events onto an online zoom chat but then we're seeing it we're, we're then seeing and thinking well hang on a minute it's so easy to deliver this that what that that what was going to be monthly why don't we just do this weekly mm. uh, and and, and you know, it, it will allow us to keep more keep more interaction and more rapport with the audience you know poten potentially bring guests on as well that in the nicest possible way might not be a strong enough guest to, to to actually you know to actually build a monthly networking around networking event around because obviously you know that there's a cost to putting these events on so mm. really we, you know we need a, a caliber of speaker that's going to drive enough people there but when you're doing these zoom type chats they are literally as good as free you know it cost nothing more than the time so we then realized well we can we whether we deliver it to 10 people or a thousand people uh you know it doesn't doesn't cost any more or less or there's no loss in the economies of scale so we then started to bring it out on a weekly basis as well and now what we're thinking is you know what this can actually be part of the part of the ongoing business model going forward you know once 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 we're out of lockdown uh, yes we obviously we want to get back to the physical events you know and and we, and we need that we need that human interaction uh, but if that's going to be monthly why can't we continue why can't we continue to do um, to do a weekly zoom call and then you know, and have on that extra level uh, have on the extra level of speakers uh, and and you know and have another and have another value value add to the service so I tell you, I tell you that as part of part one uh, because uh, like i say you know it, it's 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 very it's um, very important to you know to continue to deliver these business models but what also even surprised me is that last week we've sold two new memberships to the club to people to you know to, to, to new prospects who 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 would who had joined us on the on the uh, on the zoom calls because uh, obviously like normally when we do the physical events you know you're allowed one free attendance at, at if, uh, if you uh, membership subscription exactly yeah, yeah. Uh, but but a couple of the prospects who come onto a zoom call have, have, have actually have actually joined up so i guess uh, you know we got to the end of that rambly story but i i, 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 tell, I tell you it because it ticks a few boxes of of, of a pivoting uh, mm -hmm. and, and and thinking differently of b the fact that that can then be part of the long term business model and the fact that it is also possible possible to to make sales uh, mm -hmm. and i said because i know you've uh, you've mentioned in here here uh, alex that you um what is it um, that everyone wants things for free you know 
I think in in life, yes, everybody want everybody does want things for free because because, because so many people give things away for free, and 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 and, it, and it's all it's almost become you know be, become the acceptance. But yeah, I mean, that, for me, that's down that's down to you and your business model, and and the fact that you you have to ha you have to add enough value to 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 you know to to make uh, to make people not uh, want something for free you know so i mean i guess like you know if, if if you if you look at our business model on 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 the events business you could argue that there's many many people do do doing a guest speaker uh, doing a guest speaker on zoom for free i mean obviously you guys have signed up for you know signed up to this and you can listen to me for free so if you'd have come to one of my events what, you know what what would justify you paying to be a member of our club to see me speak well you know we, we have many value adds on top insofar as the fact that uh, you know we'll we'll curate the audience for starters so the, the the only the only people that are there are people that are that are going to be going to be your peer group that you want to network with you know for for for, for another level of you know, for another level of charge We'll we'll be we'll be able to make per personal introductions to you to to ev to everybody in that club. So just because you've jumped on the webinar doesn't you know doesn't make you know, I'm looking at the name. There's Jazz on here and there's Louise on here. Just because you know Louise may be a member of the club and Jazz may be a member of the club, but but they don't get to actually they, they don't get to necessarily network with each other unless they put the effort in. Well, you know, well, well, we'll go above and beyond to say you know Louise, you wanted to meet Jazz. Here's the connection. We then have another tier another tier of service which is where people can effectively tap into my black book and I and I'll I'll make relevant personal introductions to people who are who are not in who are not in the club anyway um and yeah so, so so i guess really you know you you need to set your stall out as as as, as why why people are going to pay to uh, why people are going to pay for your service i think i think there's always going to be levels of free service you know, you, you've got to you've got to get people in the sale in, in the sales funnel at, funnel at the front end and i get you you know you you, you are you are up against um, a lot of people offering a lot of free online content at the moment um and you may struggle to get people to pay for that pay for that first thing but i think you know, for, for me it's about Thinking, thinking of of your online initial content as a sales funnel, and then and then and then what are you going to offer them further down the line to upsell? Um, and you know, and there doesn't just have to be one level of thing there. You know, how how do you upsell from free to fifty pounds a month, from fifty pounds a month to two hundred and fifty pounds a month? You know, there, there, there's always somebody who wants to pay more for something. Yeah. And it's very, also it's very important not to do your selling based on your buying. You know, I think for, you know, for me, a lot, a lot of people's biggest failings when it comes to setting out the product, setting out the pricing, is because you try and sell in the same way that you buy. Uh, you know, and, and you know, and, and if, if if you you know if you like things for free, or or, or if you if you behave in a cheap manner or whatever that may be, I think I think that 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 comes across in, in your in your sales attitude as well, and you and you immediately think. I need to sell this product at a cheaper price. But for me, it's much more important about having a smaller number of higher margin customers you know, that, 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 than, it, than it is about uh, being a busy fool. And then the final thing I'd say, you're saying, how, how would you target the over 50s? My answer for targeting everything is, is based around brand building and social media. Uh, you know, if, if, if you, have, you have to be on all social media channels you know you've got you've, you've got to be on your insta you've got to, you've got you've got to get facebook going you've got to get linkedin you've got to get twitter and i'm a massive massive advocate for youtube as well now so, so some some of the some of these channels uh well listen, all of them take effort and consistency um you know uh, and, and again, a lot of people that I, I speak to, you know, com complain. Oh, I've been on Instagram; it doesn't work. You know, oh, I've been on a Twitter; it doesn't work. And you know, for me, my answer is: it's very easy to argue that every advertising channel doesn't work if you don't do enough with it. You know, the the, the, the people the people that complain that Instagram doesn't work are the ones that go, oh, you know, I don't know, you know, whoever, uh, you know, Steve Smith smashing it on Instagram. Um, I'm going to go and open an Instagram account. You open an Instagram account, you do a post, and the next day the phone hasn't been ringing with orders, and you go, "Well, Instagram shit. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to bother with that anymore." You know, every every advertising channel, you know, every method of communication, you know, n n needs n needs. I guess blanketing. You know, n need needs mass exposure. You know, people say, "Is radio advertising any good?" 
Well, it's not any good if you're going to do a one, you know, a three second jingle, you know, once a week and never do it again. You know, are billboards any good? Well, not if you've got one billboard in 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 a crappy location that you only keep up for seven days. You know, what what what, what whatever you do, you know, need needs scale and consistency. And it's very it's very much the same with social media. But the big difference with your social media that you don't have with all those other advertising channels is it's limited only by not not by how much money you've got. But but how how much time and effort time and effort you're prepared to put into it, um, so I, I you know w w whatever your brand is, I would be I would be focusing on your social media. Um, in terms of targeting, I, I mean I mean you can you can do targeted adverts to specific demographics. Now I know you say you don't you don't want to you don't want to um, uh, what's your wording? You said you don't want to hone in on the age. Well, you don't have to address them as fifty-five-year-old people, but you would create, but you'll effectively do it subliminally or, you know, psychologically by by creating content that that you know is suitable for your audience. So, you know, if you're trying to attract fifty-five-year-old women, then create con then create content that is is addressed to a fifty-five-year-old woman. In the same way, if you want to attract a thirty-year-old man, that then then, then 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 create create content for that. Um, but but when it comes to pushing it out through hashtags, through paid advertising, etc., you know all these. I mean, obviously, this isn't a this isn't a, a, a chat about you know, how to how to run an ad, ad campaign. So you don't have to do your own work, research on that. But it's it's very it's very easy on these platforms to specifically target your um, your content and your information to to the um, uh, to the audience that you want to hit. Uh, so I mean, you know, for for anybody on here, if you only take one thing away from this, it's now is the time to be really really putting your effort into social media uh, or, or, or whatever it is because you know one of the biggest things i've been talking to my audience about over the last 30 days is that you know we're always moaning that we haven't got time to do something and and now all we have now is time <laughs> i mean i mean okay, yes some people are still at work but most people are either still work either working but working less or have been furloughed or or are unemployed or, you know, or or whatever it may be and even if you are working you can't go out on a night, you know, you can't see your mates. So you've got ample time to commit to this stuff. And if you don't do it now, the reality is you're never going to do it because it's not that you didn't have time. You're lazy. You've got no interest in doing it. But I'm t you know, I can't overstress how now is the only time in our lifetimes, probably in our kids and kids lifetimes, that there's going to be so many eyeballs sat at home gagging to consume content you know i mean i forget what the, the, the stat i saw the stats the other week in terms of like you know 80 percent 80 percent increase in in um uh length of length of usage of of online platforms you know god knows what percentage of, of, of extra engagement um and you know all these people are sat at home begging for someone to watch and right now you're either a producer or you're a consumer and for all you guys are here today, you've got to become a, you, you, you can't be the person sat at home looking at everyone else's Instagram account or everybody else's Facebook account. Now is your time to, now is your time to produce because you can, you know, you can build your audience. And when you come out of this, you know, you, you, you will, you will, you will have moved, moved to that next level. You'll have got some critical mass. Um, and you know, the snowball effect will make things feel so much easier for you in two or three or four months time when people are allowed back out again and, or, and their attention isn't all online and, 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 and they, and they are more distracted. But if you don't do it now, it will either be very much harder for you to do in the future or, you know, or you may have even missed your chance. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying as you have people saying, you know, oh, I'm just waiting to um, to make sure that everything's right, or I just need to read a little bit more information, or just trying to figure out the technicalities. Like, you'll never do it if you don't do it during this time. And I'm talking, you know, my audience is people creating podcasts. We started a group only two weeks ago. We've got six people releasing a, a new podcast next week because, you know, like what you said, I had Chris Ducker, James Sinclair on last week, and it's interesting. They're all saying same message now is the time to, to create content you know so that when things pass and they will pass you're going to be the person at the forefront of everybody's minds rather than like you said if you sat on the couch watching netflix scripts scrolling on your phone through somebody else's social media no one's going to know who you are what you do and you're never going to you know be in that position to take advantage of the opportunities because you know as you've shown there there are opportunities out there at the moment and that's that's not necessarily being opportunistic it's just reacting to the market isn't it yeah. I mean, yes, everyone's everyone's 
are suffering a tough time now. But the reality is people still do have money to spend. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Maybe not everybody, maybe not the levels they had before, but 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 there is there is still money floating around. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's just a, ma it's a matter of, you know, identifying, you know, what product you can offer those people as, as is in in business every day you know every, every day of business is about you know f finding your audience and 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 and, and selling them what, what they want to buy you know obviously in, in a in a in a flippant level you know if if, if you if you're selling toilet paper and and, and, fa and face masks and hand sanitizer you know you, you've got a fantastic market now but you know but but jo jokes aside you know there, there are st there are still plenty of plenty of people who who want product you know wh whatever that may be whether it's online courses you know whether it's you know on, on, online webinars you know with with superior access to something further down the line um you know th 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 there are there are plenty of opportunities you know to, to do business in this climate and if the, and, and if there aren't then please just at least be marketing yeah uh, a, a useful example as i was chatting to our mutual friend last night sabrina stocker who was on the the apprentice and she launched a business like last week called uh, shoppingslot.co.uk as of today wednesday they had like a million website visits and i can't remember how many subscribers but a whole you know tens of thousands of subscribers to that to that website it just shows you what you can do what you can turn around what you can pivot in a very short um period of time um rossi says uh Matt, you mentioned your course before. Probably a good moment to mention that. People who are sat at home looking for things to do, just remind me about the course that you've made available for free. So, 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 I, so I, I um, started, well, I created my first course probably in October of last year, uh, which, um, which, well, it's called Earn While You Learn because it, it, effectively it was it was framed around being advertised to, to university students, uh, you know, people who've left school and wanted to create creating income whilst being at uni, uh, you know, so, so, so that they could earn some money but not have to go and work in the local pub. Uh, you know, the, the reality is, you know, branding aside, it, it's, it's, a, it's a very entry level course about how to, how to find a business model for you, how to realize that, you know, everybody has some kind of business in them, you know, um, because you know, a, lot, a lot of time, you know, you talk to people and it's, well, I'm sat at home and I've got, I want to do a business, but I don't know what to do because, you know, because, because I don't have anything to offer people. Uh, and and uh, you know, this was very much like level one, not even really about uh, about buying and selling a product, but understanding that we all have some kind of monetizable skill set. You know, if, if you if you're if you've got an A level in French, then you know th then you then you're qualified to you know you're probably qualified to be a a, a part time tutor to an eleven year old you know d d doing eleven year old French. And you know mm -hmm. e e even on that, that very simple level, if you're if you're shit hot with an iron, <laughs> then, then 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 maybe you could be off offering an ironing service and so like I said, this is this this probably isn't aimed at many if any of you any of you guys in here because you know i mean this is very you know, very very basic stuff but I, I, I tell the story for a few reasons one i'd been spending the last two years growing my online presence you know uh, growing my youtube growing my insta and and and, and getting an audience that interacts with me and i then i then needed pro you know, product to sell these people and and um, as alex says i mean my main business my initial business was uh, was funding uh, or is funding you know i i provide i provide sme business loans uh, but i do a lot of lead gen that generates customers um so so that generates prospects which are never going to be viable for for a business loan for us uh, you know i mean i mean we have a very specific criteria even though we're a flexible lender we have a very specific criteria of what works for us so the reality is 90 percent plus of our lead gen maybe 95 uh is actually is actually wasted you know it, it, we, we, they're, they're never going to be one of our customers mm. so historically these these leads were either going in the bin or or we might give them to another lender but you know okay so that would open up a, another small segment that was usable but you know we, we did so many businesses that were starting startup businesses uh, and then you might say okay well let's introduce a startup loan so, so we do that but then th then we've got so many businesses which are a startup business but they haven't got a business plan you know they, they, they don't know where to go so, so so we've really worked hard over the last two or three years on bringing more and more and more pro pro products into into the mix to to I to either be able to cross sell or even more importantly than cross sell monetize all our different leads but while st while still keeping it on brand
Mm. So, so, I, so the Earn While You Learn course was 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 the first test for me, really. You know, how do I write a course? How do I how do I film it? How do I you know what method of delivery platform do I use? Uh, and 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 how, how do I how do I get it out there? Uh, and it was kind of ready to go. I mean, we we, we ran behind. It, it should have really been ready from a PR perspective. You know, for, for for September of last year to be able to push out to stu to students going to uni. We ran behind, but it's kind of sat there, and it's 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 cost me nothing now to deliver it. So so I so I made this free for for for, for everybody uh, during Corona, and like I say, you know I've got I've been I've got a decent social presence anyway. It's been growing every day, uh, and, and, and what and what I've done is is offer it out to anybody. Uh, I've created a voucher code so people can download it for free. Um, obviously, they need to register. They need to put their email address in and stuff. You know, like you know, like like you guys do on here. And since since Corona started, or you know, since lockdown started, in the last thirty days of me giving it away, I've had four hundred and eighty three downloads at, at, at last check. Um, so you know, and okay, it's not maybe any money, but but the course the course was already up there, and what they you know that, those four hundred and eighty three people are obviously four hundred and eighty three people who are uh, wanting to start a business, who clearly who clearly resonate with me and my content, and who and who ultimately will be ready for you know course level two or 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 or, or something else. So. You know, again, I, I guess I've taken I've taken advantage of the fact that there's there's all these eyeballs and and probably an increased interest in entrepreneurship or or certainly the ability to to earn, earn a second or, th or a first second or third income stream. Because again, you for, 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 you know for so many people sat at home, you know, this has been a massive wake up call to the fact that they are you know, they're completely reliant on on one employer or one income stream or or. or you know, or, 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 or the fact that their current income stream is very is very susceptible to whatever it may be, um, and uh, and I guess you know what what I've been able to do is is, is build is build a, build a pipeline, you know, build a pipeline, or or, or build you know an engaged customer base you know, to, to, to then to then go and sell other product to in the future. So I, I guess you know for some of you guys, I don't know what spaces you're all in, but you know what products have you got at the moment that you know are going to cost you nothing, are going to cost you nothing. Thing to deliver. I mean, I mean, so so many people are in the online training space, you know, and and you and you would normally you know sell stuff for uh, you know either a, a big price or a monthly price or whatever. What what can what can you give away for free that's going to cost that's going to cost you nothing nothing over the over the next month or two, but, but that's going to generate your goodwill with customers and the, and that's going to generate you um, gen, generate your leads for the future. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I think I literally did my first course the same time you did last, last October, and it was an absolute ball ache to do it. And I kind of fought every inch of the way with the guys who were getting me to do it. But then we got it out on its own app, etc. And it looks great. And it's there for life now, isn't it? You know, you can obviously refresh yeah. and add to that library. But it's like evergreen content, isn't it? I think it's a, it's a great. But, it, but it's it's so evergreen, and you, and you kind of don't appreciate it. And, uh, I mean, you know, there's a, there's a co co couple of people whose content I follow, courses I've got, and some of the videos I watch. Literally twenty years. Only that you look at the person, yeah, yeah. and it doesn't. It doesn't even look anything like what that person looks like now, but, you know, but because the court, the course is so old. But either nobody cares, you know. I mean, you, you always think, "Oh, I need to refresh this because you know I'm three years old and I look different." But you know, but the reality is, you know, on all you know, all these courses and all your social media, you know, the most critical person is always you know is always you. You know, the the, the, the reason you don't post on social media is because you know you're worried what other people think of you. And don't get me listen. I I was there, you know, and I, I still am to a degree. But you know, but the reality is, you know, people don't you know. 0.0001% of people write bad things about you or don't like the way you look or, 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 or don't like your content. And the reality is with those people, even when they say something or do something, if you don't engage back with them, they get bored after three minutes, three minutes and, 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 go, and go and do it with someone else. Mm. You know, all, all of these things are, 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 just, are just excuses, really. I'm just, I'm just looking, looking in the comment box. We've got, uh, I can't say, Al, Al, Al Hassan Bar says, we're a oh, travel agent. Yeah. 
and the, and the and the and the customers want their money back, and the airline is not giving us the money back. We don't know what to do. I mean, listen, I, I, I'll, I'll caveat any questions I answer that I don't. You know, a, a lot of your business industries, I have no specific knowledge knowledge of whatsoever. So I certainly don't know anything about the travel business in terms in terms of uh, your terms and conditions and your rules and your regulations and everything else. But when I saw your question, I just I was just thinking of it really as a as a kind of a generic answer for for for, for a lot of people, in that uh, you know. So many businesses are in this kind of situation in in, in some in some way, shape, or form, um, and I, I think I think for me it's 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 a matter of it's a matter of honesty, uh, you know, common sense and sensibility, um, and, um, and and also taking advantage of the fact that most of you know, most of the UK still has a real sense of, let's say, camaraderie, um, you know, um, re respect and admiration for, you know, for, for small businesses, for the independent retailer, etc. Um, and yeah, I have a similar problem on, on, on our tennis events. I mean, we, we, haven't, we haven't quite cancelled it yet, but I think I'm de days away from having to cancel it because that is due to be at the end of June. Mm. Uh, and I've, the only reason I've not cancelled it is because I'm thinking, you know, if we do get let out at the end of May, beginning of June, you know, we, we will be able to deliver it. But I'm getting to the point where I now think, you know, think we need to knock it back. And I have a similar problem insofar as, you know, we've taken, we've, we've sold tickets, you know, we've, we've taken sponsors money and, and, we, can't, and we, can't, we can't deliver on it. And, you know, in an ideal world, everyone, everyone wants their money back. But, you know, if my sponsors want their money back from me, then I want my money back from my marquee suppliers and my hotel, and and ultimately, ultimately the chain's just not going to work. And I think I think what it really needs is just is just open and honest communication with the fact that you know. <laughs> I mean, you maybe not don't need to get down to the nitty gritty at this stage of listen. If I give you all my money back, you are going to bust me. Uh, but I think you know p people are still re realistic to the, the, the case that that's the fact as well, and and they will work with you to a degree. You know, so can you move that holiday? You know, can 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 you can you give them something else? You know, can can you give them a credit towards a future holiday? You can 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 you just you know can you can you can you move move the date entirely? So I mean, again, using my tennis example. Tennis this event as an example you know we won't be giving anyone the money back because 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 we simply can't mm. but, but you know i think we, so we're going to move we're going to move it to maybe we move it to september you know some people say well let's just miss 2020 out altogether and go to next year i don't want to do that mm. but i think i think we'll just move it um and, and and you know in an ideal world i'm sure most of those people will probably just rather have the money back but i just think you've got a unique situation now because we are you know because this isn't just you while the rest of the world is trading as normal you know because everybody's in this situation together i just think small you know small businesses have got the opportunity to you know to, to take advantage for want of a better word of um of, of the good of the goodwill that the nation that the nation is giving each other Mm. Uh, and I would just, I would say for, you know, for, for anyone who sat there, sat on customer money that you no longer have and customers who, who, who want the money back. I think, you know, you, you just, you just have, you just have to be honest with them and, and, tr and try and work, you know, work individual circumstances with, with, with all of these different people. And like I say, Alison, I, I caveat that by saying, I don't know the specific travel business, you know, I, I don't know, maybe it's not possible to move some of your dates or whatever. I, I don't know, but I, I have not, I have honestly not found anyone from uh, that i've been having to deal with from small one-man bands through you know through to multi multi million pound you know national or international corporations nobody has been difficult to deal with you know because you know, it, it might be uncomfortable conversations to have you know because because normally no one wants to go and talk to a supplier and say you haven't got any money or look weak in front of a customer but because we you know because we are you know i guess you know cliched but because we all are very much in this together the people know what you're going to say to them you know, before you pick the phone up i mean i yeah. i've got a lot i've got a landlord on one of our properties very difficult guy to deal with in 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 a in a prime location at a very expensive rent on a property I don't want to lose and my immediate reaction was oh my god you know, this guy this guy's going to have us by the balls he's going to use this as an excuse excuse to kick us out and I was I was literally I was nervous when I was picking the I had no choice but to ring him to say listen mate you know we can't we can't make your your rent payments and I rang him up and literally thirty seconds into the conversation the guy interrupts me and says listen I know why you're calling. And we've already made the decision. We give, you know, we, we, we give, we're giving all all of our tenants a six month rent deferment. Uh, you know, you, you you can you can pay you can pay the rent 
uh, one, you know, one month, so one quarter per month, or one month per quarter, whatever it was, out, out, over the over the following six quarters. Uh, and I was like, wow, I mean, you know, th 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 this, this was like the one guy I thought was going to was going to use right. this as an opportunity to leverage le leverage me out the building. Mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, but on, honestly, e e right now everybody is still wanting to help. You know, that might get tougher as people either feel the pinch more in a month's time or aren't locked down anymore in a month's time so i think you've, you've got to take you've got to take advantage of the situation to, to to communicate with people right now yeah i know my, my wife had that experience when she was phoning actually meant to be in vegas this week and um in the same situation uh, what you're saying i'll have a sound there um that the they're offering credit you know keep the money in the system the airline aren't giving the money to the travel agent so it, it's a tough one but i think there is there is a lot of goodwill out there and i don't know it seems like there is light at the end of the tunnel with regards to getting let out if you look at germany who typically dealt with this in a very uberly efficient way but they're now opening up sh smaller shops to go with like garden centers and stuff like that austria i saw spain maybe so maybe there is light at the end of the tunnel what do you think matt do you think we're there is light I mean, hundred, hundred percent, hundred percent. There's light. I mean, I don't know how, 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 how much light or where. And as I, as I was saying, kind of earlier on, I, you know, I, I really, I really don't like to like to get involved in in, in theories of you know, is it nah. is it going to be a week or a month or three months? But you know, what 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 is guaranteed is we're coming out of this. Yeah. It's just it, it's just it's just what you know what we look like. You know what we look like when we do. Which I, I think might well, just you know what, what one of the analogies I was I was giving was you know we always use sports and business analogies, don't we? You know, and ultimately you can be a, a football player sat at home sat at home now. Okay, you, you can't be training and maybe as much as you were doing before. But but are, are you are you training right? Are you eating right? You know, are, are you therefore going to be able to come out of this and hopefully pick up just about where you're left off mm. or are you sat at home nowhere near a ball doing no running no press ups eating a load of chocolate and watching netflix and you're going to come out of this cer certainly behind certainly behind some of your peers and potentially potentially never able to compete at compete at that level ever again um and and, and you know, for, for me it's very you know very much the same analogy with business in that you know look we, we, in an ideal world we'd all find ways now to pivot our business model or, or make changes in our business model that can bring some income in but if that really isn't possible you know what can we be doing what can we be doing to you know to to grow to to learn more to keep our minds active and and, and come out of this and i yeah, in a funny way, not a funny, not a funny way. I think in a factual way. You know, I I know that some of my businesses will come out of this better businesses than we went into it with. They're not better businesses now because obviously I'm 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 not able I'm not able to sell properly. You know, and 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 our our income's limited. But I've made changes in some of our businesses that I actually should have made six months anyway or two years anyway. You know, ch changes in 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 delivery of product, changes in process. You know, cut, cut it, cutting some cutting some staff that you know th these aren't furloughed staff; these are ultimately staff that should that should have gone gone before. Uh, and I think you know it's very easy when you're running a let's say a successful business um, that you know where, let's pick a number. If you're making if you're making fifty grand a month or forty grand a month. You kind of, you know, in a way, it doesn't really matter. You know, you're making a lot of money, and 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 you're happy. And it's very easy. It's very easy for costs to to, to rack up and slip through the crack. It's, you know, slip through the cracks. Um, you know, it, it, it's very it's very easy to be busy concentrating on other, other things. But only when you get this focus that um, you know, that, that, oh, we need to cut costs now. What can we do? And we look at it. And obviously, one of, one of the biggest things that I've really been embracing at the moment is the whole work from home concept. Now yeah. I'm a I, I hate it or, or let's say I completely hated it for 20 years. I have fought every kind of remote workforce type thing because I don't trust the staff or I don't think the productivity is there or whatever it may be. And I'm perfectly happy to put my hands up and always and say that's not a fault of home working. It's not a fault of the staff. It's probably it's a fault on me for not managing it properly or for not recruiting them properly or whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. But we've been. We've been thrown into this now, so 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 we've had no no option but first to accept it, and then you know for for me it's gone from acceptance to to to, to embracing it, and and you know every, everything needs study, um, and you know there's always some, you know there's always someone who can obviously do something better than you. And what I've actually spent a lot of the last four or five weeks doing is is absorbing content or from from people who've 
already done this and done this well. And I'm fortunate enough that a couple of these people are friends of mine. Uh, but you know, I have a particular particular mate, and he and he gives this he'll give this content to where he'll sell it anyway. So you know, it's not uh, it's not a secret for me. Uh, but you know, but this guy runs a hundred and twenty hundred and thirty person organization. Known him for a while. I didn't even know actually know until three or four months ago that he doesn't have an office. So he's, he's 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 always run a, re, a, a remote workforce, uh, and and he's he's been through all the pains of getting it right. So so he knows all the all the monitoring tools, all the management methodologies. You know how 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 to recruit, how to motivate, how how to do this this that and the other. Because you know, I mean, working from home isn't just a oh well, I'll work from home now rather than work from an office. You know, it, it, it's a it is a culture change that, that 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 needs that needs rules and systems and everything in place. But but once we've learned that um you know the the the, the output can can be so much so much better i mean you know i'm not so i'm now looking at this so, i mean we we're talking about changes in businesses so the change for me is one of my organizations our our very expensive cent central uh, you know city center office that is due for renewal at the end of june that was going to be renewed at the end of june 100 percent is not 100 percent is not you know that was an office that, that was an office building that probably cost us all in 100 grand a year we we, we will move that to a, serv a service style office at probably 30 grand a year with 50 percent of the workforce that was in it before not because not because we got rid of them like, okay I'll, i'm giving you rough numbers here but let's say 25 percent of them have gone because you know they're, they're actually surplus to delivering what is the right business model to deliver going forward and that is not an effect of corona but it's a, a, but but you know a acknowledging that problem has been a byproduct of the, of, the, of the situation we've been put in and then the other 25 percent of the people are, are people who are probably better suited to working at home um and 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 and, that, and now now we've got the tools in place you know to to, to monitor them properly to target them properly etc uh you know uh, we will allow some, well, some of them to, to continue to work from home or or, or 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 some of them to be flexible and then going forward that's going to give us access to you know to such a bigger talent pool uh you know people that we people we would never have have that kind of access to before and i know you know this to people in the tech space you know you've probably been doing this for a long time but i think if you're not in tech then then, then this is <laughs> almost revolutionary <laughs> um mm -hmm. and you know again I, I look at you know my mate who's got the 120 person organization you know he's in the seo uh, digital marketing space i mean he hires some of the, his staff are like ex Googlers, ex Applers, etc. You know, because because they actually you know they they're based in the, in the states and, and they work remotely through his systems. Um, how you know how could I in the centre of Leeds ever have access to that kind of talent pool? Never 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 could have done before. But you know th th these these are the positives that you know, that, that, have, that have come out of this negative situation. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, like your previous point as well, that the number of CEOs that I've, I've spoken to, um, business owners over, over the last couple of weeks, have said they've used, they used this opportunity like you. They've gone in a blank sheet of paper. What would we do now differently? Why has everything we've done for the last 30 years been right? You know, marketing wise, office space, etc. If we had a blank sheet of paper and we were starting the business now, what would we do in our marketing? Where would we base the office? How would we let our staff work? So it's, it's interesting, isn't it? And you, you've got the ability to make those changes now. Yeah, hundred percent. I'm just. I don't know how you're doing for time, but I'm just looking at the comment the comment box here. I can see Shirley says. Uh, yeah. I know it's going to be hard to answer some of these questions because we can't kind of talk back and forth. But Shirley says, I deliver training face to face, small groups. Now the demand is for online, which, of course, is for free and they want all my material. I, mean, I, I don't I don't quite understand that, Shirley, because if, if, if I mean, if you are delivering some kind of proprietary, for want of a better word, training that people were prepared to pay for face to face before, then I don't know why they wouldn't pay for it online i mean i mean if you you're if you're giving the same information away then 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 it shouldn't now be free just because it's online mm -hmm. uh it'd be part one i mean i mean you know, may, maybe there's free training to you know to lure people in as, 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 a, as a lead magnet if you like it's you know yeah you know, we can come on we can come on this webinar and, and and you can listen to me for free and you can ask me questions in this group for free but if you then want me to come if you want to have you want me to give you specific training that's that's very personal to your business on a 
one hour call or a six hour call or however you do it well then then then, then, then you're gonna you're gonna have to pay for that so I, I, I um and that would be very much the same same in your business model so um I'm not. If, if I've misunderstood it, you know, and you're still online, you know, bang, bang it in the comment box. But, but you know, if, if you're giving away the same information you were giving before, then, mm. then then you shouldn't be doing it for you shouldn't be doing it for free, or potentially you probably shouldn't even be doing it for cheaper. Yeah, like she says, there's so much competition online now, and I, yeah, I I get that, and there is. But at the end of the day, people are buying you the information that you're delivering, your experience, your expertise then you know you you're gonna be shouting louder aren't you you're gonna have your niche 100 percent. i mean i mean listen, in, in in any business model there's always going to be someone doing it cheaper you know um i mean you know i i i, I always use as an example i mean you know in in um when i deliver finance you know there, there's there's always people who are going to do it cheaper than ch ch cheaper than us but are they going to be more flexible than us are they going to be as quick as us you know even within our own organization customers will come will, customers will come in to us and say right matt i'd, I'd like this loan you know, whatever that's i want a 50 grand loan and i'll say okay well i'm just going to pass you on to you know abc member of staff he'll he'll deal with it and quite a lot of the time they say well no i'd like you to deal with it and i have mm. to say in the politest sense of the word I don't deal with 50 grand business loans. If you want me to, I will. But by the way, I'm going to charge you a, a 10 grand acceptance fee yeah. <laughs> because, because my, my job is not to do that. Or, or if my job is to do that, then it's worth you paying for it because I'm more experienced. I've, I've obviously got a better relationship with the underwriter and I can make it happen a lot faster. So that, you know, that's why you're going to pay for me. Mm. Um, and, and and I'm sure I'm sure that's you know that's very, that very much the same in, in in all of your different business models. I mean, I've given you all a lot of examples today of of my businesses or of me, and I don't I don't do that so I can talk about myself. I'm just doing it to try and try and contextualise things because you know all the theories I talked to you about, none of them are none of them are rocket science. You know, not 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 none of, none of them are, are you know a magic tricks that are, you know that, that are unique to me. They're all you know that they should all be um, relatable to all of your businesses in some way shape or form i mean i mean Ro rosie jones says all social media and capital letters now I i'm sure some of you were having a heart attack when i was saying that and again i'm trying to give you as condensed answers as possible and i, I you know, my, my 30 second answer for social media is two or three things one it's it's easier than you think once you start to understand how you can repurpose content so you know you can within reason you could use the same same post on facebook to linkedin to instagram i'm going to caveat that by saying but there's there's nuances to you know to each of the platforms so you may need to deliver that content in a di in a different way you may need to caption it slightly different you know but 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 the general principle is i mean let's take take take, take this web as a real simple example we've got this webinar so so it's it's, it's let's say it's one hour long that we can dump that out we can export that first of all we've done it live so that's one piece of content secondly we, we can export it so, so so alex could export it whether this is for himself or whether this is for me so, we, so we've then got a, a one hour mp4 file that could then be uploaded to your youtube channel we've now got two pieces of content we could then look at this and say okay it was a, it was an hour long and but there was three or four quite interesting points in there that are two or three minutes two or three minutes long each we can then cut out those those two or three minute sections so let's say we found three three occasions in this where i've spoken for two minutes it was quite interesting <laughs> fingers crossed <laughs> um and uh, you know so, so so then we've got three pieces of content there that might be good for linkedin that might be good for igtv that might be good for facebook maybe there was one particular quote that I said or that Alex said that was a good quote well that could be a quote on a on, on a pitch on a picture of me on my Instagram page on my Twitter page and I won't go on and on but you can you can you can you can, you can just sit you can see all of a sudden from 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 one webinar how that's created 20 or 30 pieces of content you know that that, 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 you, that you can repurpose across 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 your things across your different platforms so it is it is easier than you think when you get clever about it is part what is, is my point number one and my point number two is yeah it's it's effort that you need to put in but you know if you don't put if you don't put it at the front end you're not going to get it get it get it in, in at the back end and, and and ultimately you know you know whether whether you spend it's your decision whether you spend the time 
on social media you know for for the, for the long tail uh, you know for for the long tail success it's going to give or you know maybe you're sat on a load of money and you just want to th- and you want to throw that money at tv advertising or you want to throw that money at um, at billboard advertising or pay per click or whatever it is but you know it, for me it's just really a simple concept of you know we've only got two resources it's either time or it's money uh, and 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 if and if we have if we've got time but lack of money then uh, you know then, then social media is I mean, there's just no better better method of accessing the customers you want cheaply and at scale. And yes, it takes time, but when you've put that initial effort in, uh, you know the the the, snow, the snowball effect is is unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah, do you know? And I use this example, and again, I'm not not trying to big myself up, but just as an example that when most people try and start um, a podcast or a YouTube channel or a blog, they give up. The, the number is seven. They don't get to seven episodes. They give up oh, around yeah. six or seven. Yeah, before they get to two months. And I said, you know, I started my podcast three and a half years ago. It's now in 143 countries. It's been, you know, number one from the UK to Uganda. But it's just been what you said earlier, Matt, just being consistent every week, putting out the episode at the same day, at the same time. So people expect it and you just build up, build up. Just like what you've done by doing 30 days of lives on your Instagram channel. I'm sure you're following us. You know, exponentially grown. I think last night you had a shitload of people on. Pardon my yeah, friend. we did. We did a lot. We did a live last night that had eight and a half thousand people watch it. Uh, but you know, b- b- between nine and ten o'clock last night. Um, I've done. Uh, you know, I've, I've had other. I mean, I've had other ones that you know, I've had two and a half thousand people. But even if we take the lives aside, if we just look at my actual content of of of, of comments, you know, comments and engagement. If we go to 30 days ago, you know, I've been, let's say a typical post for me might have had 10 or 15 comments on it. My my posts as of 24 hours ago, you know, the, the last week of posts, we're up 150, 160, 170. I've, 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 I've had Instagram posts in the, uh, in the last week or so that have had in excess of 200 comments on them. Right. Um and, the, and and there's no you know, the content's no different to what it was a week ago uh, or a month ago or six months ago. Mm. All it is is a, com- a combination of the fact that I'm I mean I've always hit it hard, but I've hit it even harder than I've ever done it before. And it's had that day to day consistency, and it's got that added advantage of all the eyeballs sat at home, you know, yeah. desperate desperate for someone to follow. Um, yeah. You know, uh, you know a, a lot of wannabe entrepreneurs or small business owners you know, who who want someone to follow. And that and that has that's been me. And I, yeah, and I, I'm always the first to say as well. This is very important. Listen, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, uh, and not not everyone will, will will resonate me in this resonate with me in the same way. I don't resonate with everyone else. So I, so I, so I don't I don't look at theirs. But I have you know a particular style, a particular brand, which is very easy for me to deliver because it is me. You know, I don't I don't I don't, I don't have to put an act on. Um, and uh, you know, the people that don't like me, they're never going to be my customer anyway. You know, if you yeah. don't like me online. You're not going to like me offline, and if you don't like me offline, you're not going to buy from me. So what? So why do why do I care? Why am I going to why am I going to waste my time with you? And and all of you all of you can apply that to, apply that to your business model. You know, whoever whoever you're trying to attract, whoever you're trying to target. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's mad. I was watching um, what's his name, uh, Jared Leto, Hollywood. You know, Amos. Oh, yeah been in like Troy uh, plays in 10 seconds to Mars the band and he had like 8,000 on his line so just to put it in really? context for you Matt <laughs> <laughs> um, any this is kind of need to wrap things up but any last questions that you see there that you want to pick up oh, no, I want to finish with that how about that question well there's a couple on TikTok actually Matt have you delved into that because I know as I've seen like your daughter setting up a social media channel who's the same age as my eldest as well so <laughs> You know what? I I I personally I personally haven't done much TikTok, uh, and um, I, I guess you know, almost like breaking my own rules. It's it, it's it's really been it's just really been a matter of time a matter of timing on it. But I just, I just think I, I've probably personally had other other areas to get better bang for my buck. And the, and the and the other thing as well with TikTok is I haven't quite found. I haven't quite found my method of delivery for it. As, as we said a minute ago, um, you know, whilst you can repurpose content for all these different platforms, you do you do need to act act in the way that platform's expecting. You know, d- d- deliver content in 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 the, in the way it's done. And I have I have posted I've posted some of my videos that I would put on YouTube or LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever. I've posted those onto TikTok. 
with with limited success. But if I'm honest, if I'm honest with myself about why, it's because really, I, I guess the people on TikTok probably aren't looking to consume that kind of content that mm -hmm. I'm doing. And because I'm not, you know, if I was a brand, you know, if I was a Gary V, I mean, obviously Gary V's killing it on TikTok, but he's already had a massive, massive, massive brand. And if you look at the, the content he puts on TikTok is very much the same content he puts elsewhere. Whereas, you know, whereas, but I think that the reason that, that he's successful is because he's already successful anyway and and he's and, he, and he's, he's you know he's, he's transported his brand across there i think if you want to start from scratch as an unknown on tiktok you know you need to you need to learn that platform in the same way you need to, you need to learn every platform and to be honest it's not quite my style you know do it do, do, doing dances and doing bits and pieces i mean yeah you know me and harley have mucked around a little bit on it um but it's, it's, it's pure it's purely been for fun um but you know but if you've got if you've got a product that um that can break up nicely into 15 30 one you know, 30 second one minute videos or if, or if you're a funny person or if you've got funny ideas or you're a dancer or you can do music or you know whatever whatever the you know the particular usps of tiktok are then th th then you should definitely go with it because i mean i guess you know, for me the overriding comment here is you should be you should be creating content on whatever platform suit you listen in an ideal world we should be doing it on everything yeah. with the styles of each one but if that's not all for us, then fine. Now, if you hate video, then do audio. If you hate audio, do the do the written word. If you hate the written word, do video. You know, wh 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 whatever it is, but you but please do something. Please, mm. please do something, and take it take it from me. Who I've been, I've done this for maybe two years now, um, and. I would have started six or 12 months earlier had I listened to the people that were kind of pushing me to do it. But I always found an excuse. Um, and the excuse was ultimately because I was I was nervous about what people what people would say when, 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 I, when I was creating it, uh, you know, when I was putting the videos out there. And that's from me. You know, that's me as a confident person. So I so I get it that people who are less confident are, are really going to worry. Mm -hmm. But I put my first video up and nobody said anything bad <laughs> they also didn't really say anything good either <laughs> um and then the next day i did it again and then you know, one like became two two likes became three and three became seven um and then you know and also for me because bear in mind i had successful businesses at that time as well so it was a real blow to my ego in a way you know that, that, that i've i've spent this time to create a video that uh, you know that gets one person liking it or two per two people liking it but then, you know, six months later, we kind of gone from 10 to 100. And another six months later, from 100 to 1,000. And that, you know, that snowball, that exponential growth happens. But it just, you know, it, it, there's, no, there's, there's no secret. There's no shortcut. You know, you just have to do it. You know, the people that you look at and the people you probably look at in your home life and your hobby life and go, oh, you know, they've got a million people on TikTok or they've got a million people on um, on Instagram. They haven't got a million people, million followers on Instagram because they actually they actually follow any of these underlying principles. They've got a million followers on uh, Instagram because they walked out of Love Island or they, or they walked out of TOWIE. Yeah. And for me, they aren't the people that you want to be emulating. Like, I've got a lot of friends in that space, uh, and I have this debate with them all the time, and that th th they need to be applying the same rules that we all need to be applying. And you might look at them, you might look at them with a million followers and be impressed. I look at them with a million followers and think you are committing the biggest crime in business by not because if you you don't do anything other than the fact that people know you because you're on the telly. If you actually did everything we talk about here, you know, create the right content, bring the right calls to action in, engage with your audience, create a product to offer them, transport them from one platform to the other. You know, I mean, how many of these people who are massive on Instagram aren't even on any other platform yeah, whatsoever? Yeah. I mean, it's it's scary to see that because mm -hmm. you know what nobody appreciates is you don't you know n never mind if Instagram gets hacked your Instagram gets hacked then then you, then you've lost your business overnight yeah you don't own any of that data you don't know who your customers are you don't have their email addresses you know so so, so I mean even even in the simplest terms you know if you've got an Instagram account with that much following you need to be pushing them over to Facebook you then need to be pushing them from Facebook Facebook to Facebook to YouTube um mm -hmm. I don't know how we got on to that but uh, but um yeah. 
but yeah, you, you, you know, you know what I'm saying, guys. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's you know that's why I love podcasting because again, you can spread it over Spotify, spread it over Apple. You own your own content, not one big private organization. I saw somebody who built his whole following on Facebook get locked out of his own Facebook group last month. Another one in my space in the podcasting space. And I just thought you've lost your entire your entire business, your entire your entire contact list, literally by I think whatever he was doing, him and his girlfriend who ran the business got locked out of their own account. So. What can you do? Um, listen, I'll, fi I'll finish up with this question. Matt, what's the, um, before I ask you the last question, what's the easiest way people are asking quite a few messages how to get hold of you? What's the easiest way? And I will okay. send you a group email. Uh, so so I'm, 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 on, I'm, on, I'm on all the social channels other than not really on TikTok. So don't, don't come and find me on TikTok unless you, unless you want to see me dancing with my daughter. Uh, but I, I'm the Matt Haycock. So T-H-E-M-A-T-T-H-A-Y-C-O-X. You'll get me on Insta, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and I, I have a YouTube channel as well where I've got, I mean, literally hundreds of videos from three minute videos to two hour videos of advice, content, interviews with business leaders, inspirational people, celebrities, uh, and everything in between. Um, I have a website which is matt haycox.com, and my email's a dead easy one which is matt at matt haycox.com. Um, so that, I mean, that you, you'll, you'll get me on all of that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, you know, I, I am as of late inundated with messages, so I, I will. Uh, I, yeah, I may not be as quick as quick as you want to reply. Uh, and uh, you know, I, I, and, and if it's if it's something something generic, I might you know, I might might send you to another uh, you know, to another webinar or, or or to one of my lives or something. I do a live like this every night where where I answer people you know people's questions. Uh, but then obviously, if, if there's some one on one business to do, uh, you know, we can we can certainly talk about that too. Awesome. Uh, well, look, I could talk to you for hours, uh, learned quite a few new things as well. Didn't know we both ran networking events and also uh, <laughs> loans as well. I was a startup loan provider for, for the startup loans in the UK. Oh, really? Yeah, a few commonalities there. Um, but yeah, let's, let's um, finish up with Matt. This question, because I put it in, a, in like a video montage for everyone we've had on. If you had a million pounds that you wanted to invest in uh, right now, which industry would you pick? Well, this has to be something different to what I'm already doing, yeah. As, yeah. as, as in, like a like a hypothetical question. Yeah. Um, mm, yeah, you know, I, I'm far from an expert in it, but if you, but, but as a as a space that I believe, um, you know, the, the the future is going to is going to see. It's very much, uh, I'd say, in in, fra in fractionalization of products. Uh, or, or, or fractionalization of, of, of offerings. So, you know, if that's uh, Deliveroo dark kitchens, you know, if, if that, uh, you know, if that's serviced offices, you know, I, I think, I think we've probably gone through a cycle of, of wanting to, of wanting to own things. And now I think, you know, the, the, the savvy people or the potential, the people about to be savvy will understand that they, they just need to use something. They don't need to own it. Um, so so in, in, in the same way that serviced offices have become, have become popular, not just now, but, but, you know, but, but historically, um, you know, uh, you know, because people don't want that long-term commitment. You know, they, they want that flexibility. I think I would like to, I would invest in that theory ac across other spaces. You know, so, you know, if, if, you're, if you're an Uber driver, or a taxi driver, you know, you don't need to own your car. You could, you can rent a car on a daily basis or a weekly basis to offer that service. You know, if you want to set up a restaurant, um, you know, you no longer need to have the big capital expenditure. You know, you can go and rent a day or a week or a month space. You know, in a de in a delivery style dark kitchen. So mm -hmm. I think I, I think I would be interested in exploring creating i guess in, in, in investing in ca in capital expenditure so that other people so that other people don't have to and creating models of rental of fractionalization uh, you know because like I said, ultimately we don't want to own things anymore we want to use them and, you know, and we want you know we want experiences as opposed to products so in the in the fractionalization or experience space i reckon Perfect. Uh, well, listen, thank you so much for your time. I know I said half an hour, but we've, uh, we've definitely ran over. So appreciate you taking the time out of your ridiculously busy schedule at the moment. On, uh, no on problem, Sunday. buddy. Yeah. Um, but I'll, I'll put an email to everyone and I'll, I'll include the contact details again, but I've just posted up because we'll get a load of replays on this as well. We'll push that out to the YouTube channel um, so people will be able to see um, how to get hold of you on there as well. So Yeah, I'll, give me the I'll, links and I'll make, sure, uh, I'll make sure I share it and everything. Cool. Okay. Thank you so much again, Matt.
Pleasure. Thanks for having me. See you later. Bye now. Bye-bye.